Hi everyone, I'm Romana and this is The Versatile Artist. Today I want to talk with you about the artist circle. And I want to start this with a personal story about artist circle and how it came to my life. It was actually when I first worked my way through the artist's way by Julia Cameron that I asked a handful of friends who I knew that they were creatively active if they wanted to meet on a regular basis so that we could exchange our experiences, our thoughts, to have a group of supportive people around us uh, and, and something regularly so that we could kind of check in with our creative endeavors because that also helps you to move forward with your creative en endeavors. You have somebody it gives you some kind of responsibility when you have people you're sharing this with. And um, yeah, we we met on a regular basis. It, we called it the circle, which is just an Austronized version of a circle. And um, we did that for quite some years until our lives just moved us to different countries. And that was a time before Zoom and before a stable Skype connection and before everybody had a webcam. So um, it kind of fell a little bit apart, but our friendships remained and the bond is still here. The support is still here. And whenever we meet, and most of the time it is on an individual basis, we still do the same thing. We're still pillars for each other in this journey, in our creative journeys. And what I have come to the conclusion that in general, I think you need people in your life who are supporting you throughout your creative life, because there are a lot of naysayers. There are a lot of critiques out there, people who always want to give you feedback, even though you haven't asked for it. And so it's important that you have people who just kind of hold your hands. And that's what we did this this circle for us was a place where we read our poems, we read our short stories, we shared our songs that we had written, we discussed theatre projects that we were about to embark but felt way too big and way too crazy a project. But we supported each other and we helped each other to find focus to and also to maintain that focus and also to strengthen our belief in ourselves. We also did exercises um, that we handed out at the end of, or during a meeting that was not, re it was not regulated that much. Um, but what we did was um, we handed out the exercises, we decided which ones we wanted to do until the next meeting, and then we had something we had in common so we could discuss that what was our experience with that we could share things sometimes we wrote poems on a specific topic we found exercises in some inspirational books and we just tried it out and see looked at how this works for us what it gave us and what happens in these circles is something that even be goes beyond this support because as you start sharing your ideas, you will get some kind of input from other people and that increases your creativity and, and also it sparks inspiration. I mean, I've seen that many, many times whenever I've worked in teams rather than writing something on my own in my own room. It's not just two people or two minds that are working on this project. By working together, the creativity explodes and it becomes so much more and so many ideas come up that would have never come up if we only had worked individually on the story. So this is a great way to, to, to increase your creativity and your inspiration. And what I in general think about this is I think everybody needs that. Everybody needs people in their life who are supportive, who are kind, who encourage you rather than just say nay or critique you or give you feedback you haven't even asked for. So uh, what I would like you to do, if you feel that could be something for you, uh, look 
in your circle of friends and acquaintances? Are there people out there who you think you would like to meet on a regular basis where you think you could help each other on, on your journeys, on your creative journeys? And then reach out to them, ask them. I mean, of course, your network includes your worldwide network. It can be online anyway. I mean, there is Zoom, there is Google Hangout and so many other platforms you can use for that. So it doesn't have to be in person. But when you plan it, it's good to think about that, how you want to do it. Do you want to do it in person or online? And then set up a regular meeting. Um, and yeah, depending on where you're doing that. And also set a beginning time and an ending time, because that is something that will help people to take this whole thing more seriously and also to show up and to be punctual. And so what um, the, the next thing that you should do, you should have some kind of plan, at least for the first meeting or meetings so that you can give it a kickstart. And when you do the first meeting, I would suggest to just ask people who they are, what they're plans are, what their goals are, what they're working on, what their fears probably are. As soon as people start to open up, other people will also feel more comfortable about opening up. So if nobody else does it, then it's about you have to do it first <laughs> and invite them to do something similar. Uh, make them feel comfortable and also think about moderating the talking times because some people like to talk more than others and to find a balance in that, um, invite or encourage the introverts to speak a little more, ask them more questions if they are don't talk very much just because of their own nature and also ask or a be gentle and kind and respectful with the ones who can't stop talking and try to find a way to navigate that so that they don't talk all the time. Um, what I would also recommend is finding some kind of structure together with, with the other people in that group, how you want to proceed when it comes to sharing work, what, what the expectations or hopes are. Do people want feedback or not? Or do they want specific feedback or not? And who is able to give that feedback? Because not everybody can give feedback on everything in the way someone needs it. So that's something you should definitely discuss with the other people. Um, another thing I would suggest to think about is adding exercises. As I mentioned before, that that's something we did. We just... Yeah, we found, we stumbled over exercises and we just tried them out. There was no real plan to that, but it always kind of worked out and it always added to the inspiration, it added to the creativity that was happening and it always did something for our own project. So find some exercises that you can do, whether it is within the meeting or between the meetings and then you share it the next time. But in any way, I think that can be very, very inspiring. And most people who join such a group are usually open to to explore inspirational books like The Artist's Way or The Big Magic or any other of these wonderful books that are specifically on developing your creativity. If you can't find any uh, people in your network and I would suggest to go for five to maximum ten people because then it's more effective and um, it also is kind of intimate enough so that you can open enough uh, open up deeply enough so that it helps and that, that you also feel safe enough but everybody is different and people will have different opinions on that it's just based on my very own experience so um, I encourage you to make your own experiences with that and also uh, form your own opinion on that, of course. And um, I'm glad if you share that down below in the comments anyway, as you know. 
Uh, but if you can't find any in your own network, there are dedicated Facebook groups, for example, that you could look at. There are artist circles out there that you can join and they're available online. You can look at that. I also have an artist circle on my Patreon page. It's free for all the something special and above patrons. Um, it's linked below, of course, as always. Uh, so there are many ways how you can set, set this up or join it. Because if you're not the person who wants to set this up and carry that kind of responsibility that this brings with itself, because when you set something up, in some ways you will always be the moderator unless you find someone else in this group who, who likes to do that. Um, but I would not rely on that. So think about whether you are someone who likes to set it up or join a group. But in any way, it's, it's a great thing to do, to do this kind of groups. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. And in, in my experience, artist circles are incredibly wonderful. And if you do this and approach it with kindness, with respect and also with support, with 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 the meaning to be supportive, even if you don't always get everything, even if you disagree with certain things, but in, in a respectful way, you can support even the craziest idea. I mean, I've had quite a lot of crazy ideas over the years. I am very happy that my friends, my circle friends, have supported me through that and have always believed in me through all these crazy ideas. And I mean, I'm, I'm eternally grateful for, for them in my life, that I have those people in my life who are like-minded, who are so talented, so, so kind, and sometimes a little bit crazy, especially me. <laughs> and because a lot of my creative work is actually rooted in this bond with those people. So share your experience with that. Uh, I hope this video inspires you to create such a group if you haven't already or join such a group to add this to your creative life so that your journey becomes even richer, more fulfilled, that your creative work becomes additional inspiration and um yeah and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up share it with anyone who you think could benefit from and subscribe to my channel and we'll see each other very soon take care stay creative and be brave bye bye